So you've already seen my videos with this little guy, Vector, responding to questions and commands. Hey Vector, what time is it? So as you can see, I have WirePod running here on my computer, my Windows PC, and that is allowing my Vector to answer me. And today I'm going to show you how to install WirePod on an Android phone. So the first thing you're going to want to do is reset your Vector, vector back to factory firmware, which you're going to do by holding down the back button for 15 seconds. This will cause the back buttons or back lights on Vector to light up dark blue. And then you will know that he is rebooting into the stock factory firmware. All right, you can see those blue lights. That means that he's booting back into factory firmware. All right, and as you can see, Vector is just showing his little numbers on the screen. If you double press the back button, it will bring you into the pairing screen. If you lift up the arms and put them back down, it will show that we're in the 0 0.90 firmware, which is the stock original firmware for this vector. So we're going to go back out to the uh, original vector Anki screen. All right, so the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is come over to the Android phone and type in WirePod install on a Google browser. That will bring up the Kirkry123 WirePod free, fully featured software. You wanna click on that and then click on the installation guide. And so it's a little bit easier to read. I have the instructions pulled up here on my computer. We have the prerequisites already done. We've got a vector 1.0 or 2.0. We've already flashed the firmware back to its original firmware. So we don't have to do any of these preparing the bot uh, steps. And we're just gonna scroll down to the instructions for Android. And that should be right there. So as you can see, this is for Android 4.4 and above. So if you have an older Android phone, this may not work for you, unfortunately. And you do have to set your phone up so that it doesn't go to sleep in the background or else WirePod will stop running, unfortunately. That's not something that's listed here in the instructions, but if your phone automatically goes to sleep, it will, most cases, shut down WirePod. So you'll think that WirePod's not working, but what's really happening is your phone is just going to sleep. So what we're going to do is follow the instructions here. Uh, make sure there's no other WirePod instances running on the network. So that would mean if I had WirePod running on this network on this computer, it wouldn't allow WirePod to work on the phone as well running on the same network. So we already know that that's not a problem. Make sure there's no other devices on the network called Escape Pod. So um, I know that I have my WirePod closed. I am actually just closing it right now on this computer. And then on an Android device, head to the latest release page from WirePod and download WirePod. These will be numbers where these uh, hashtags are .apk. We're going to want the APK file for the Android phone. So we're going to go over to the phone. We're already in the installation instructions screen. So we need to be down here on the Android 4.4 and above, and then we're going to click the latest release pages. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of files here we can download. Uh, like the instructions said for Android, we want the APK file. So we are going to download this one right here. And it says it may be harmful, but download anyway. And depending on your internet speed, it may take a little while for that file to download, but it shouldn't be too long. All right, so the next step is install it. So once that file is done downloading on the Android device, just click it in your notifications and it will say, do you want to install this app? And your phone may not allow you to install third-party apps. You may have to go into your developer options in your Android phone and allow third-party apps to be installed. But I have already done that, so I'm gonna click install, and then that will start installing WirePod. And unsafe app blocked. This app was built for older versions of Android and doesn't include the latest protections, more details, and I'm going to say install anyway. And it's asking me for my code. I'm not gonna give you that. Uh, 
So yeah, it's asking me for my PIN to install an unsafe app. So uh, your phone may not be set up like that, but mine is, uh, you know, set up to protect the phone from installing dangerous apps. So it obviously says app installed. We're gonna click uh, open. And um, with specific grammar, we're gonna say yes and click start. So this is going to be the configuration page. Your IP address here may be different, um, but that will be the web address that you go to to set up your WirePod instance. If you wanted to go to it on a different device, obviously you can just click this link and it should open it up. It's just asking what browser I wanna use. And it brings you into the WirePod setup. So heading back to the instructions real quick, this number six is where it's saying allow um, the app to be downloaded and you might get a play protect uh, and you have to click install anyway. You saw me do that. Um, and then this step eight is where it's saying to go into your battery settings. So you're going to go into settings, apps, wire pod, and make sure that the battery is set up for unoptimized or not optimized. This will stop your phone from shutting down wire pod in the background when your phone goes to sleep, hopefully. <laughs> um, then we're going to, uh, we already did nine. We already opened wire pod and, and selected start. And we already clicked on the, um, WirePod URL to go into the WirePod setup page. So go under the URL WirePod control in the device browser and finish setting up WirePod. So we're going to finish setting up everything basically from the phone at this point. All right, so I just went to a desktop version so everything would fit on my screen here because when I'm in um, the phone version, not everything fits. So um, Welcome to WirePod. Configure these options to link to your liking, then click the submit button. So we don't want to change anything here on the escape pod recommended regular because we don't we have a regular production bot. We're, cha we're not changing the language from English and we're going to click submit settings. So this is going to initialize WirePod and then it's going to have to start downloading that model. And while that's downloading, right here, the option uh, for the box I clicked before with specific grammar, this gives you uh, all the uh, information on that box, whether you want to click it or not. It basically will allow Vector to only respond to specific questions rather than um, like more randomized questions. So uh, whether you want to click that box or not is completely up to you. Um, and then we're just going to wait for this to finish downloading and continue on the phone. All right, so it's updating the model, reloading a voice processor, setup is complete, WirePod has started, redirecting. Perfect, so now we're on the WirePod setup page. Um, and what we want to do is click on the bot setup and this is where we are going to actually do the uh, connection to Vector and uh, his first initial pairing. So we want to click this link right here for the authentication. This is going to open up another browser where it's going to give you the option to pair with Vector. So what you're going to need to do is have your Vector on the charging station. Double click the back button, which will bring Vector into his pairing screen. Hopefully <laughs> he does have to be on the little charging terminals or it won't go to the, yep, there we go. So I just wasn't pushed back far enough on his charger for him to uh, feel the connection of the charger. So now it's showing the connection screen here on my phone. I'm going to click the pair with vector button and your phone does have to have Bluetooth. So if your Bluetooth isn't working or if your Bluetooth isn't on, turn that on. It should show you the uh, same name of vector and same number there. You're going to click that vector and say, pair and then that should reveal the numbers on vector's little screen here yep 999053 and you're going to have a little spot here to throw those numbers in and then we're going to enter the pin and then it's going to ask for your wi-fi information so i'm going to click my wi-fi network and i'm doing this on my phone i'm just not giving you my um 
information. <laughs> so I'm just typing in my password for my internet and clicking the connect vector to Wi-Fi button. This should be thinking and then it will do the updating vector process. Your vector screen should look like this and you'll start seeing this little green bar climbing across your screen here and that is installing the new WirePod firmware onto Vector. And this process is also completely dependent on your internet connection. So if you have slower internet, this updating process may take a little bit longer. All right, we are so close to being done updating Vector and hopefully this goes through. If you do see an exclamation point in a circle, that means that vector did not update properly and you have to do that process over again and get vector to update properly. If you have really slow internet like I have, um, that's sometimes a cause for vector not updating properly. All right, so when your vector reboots, it should look like this. You'll have a new uh, vector number and it should say DDL dot IO instead of Anki, uh, if that's the 1.0 vector that you're on. The, uh, the 2.0 vector may have already said something DDL. So then we're going to want to just repair with vector. So click the pair with vector button and double click the back button on vector to reveal the pair screen and make sure that your numbers match and click pair. And that's going to reveal the number again, 856901. 856901. And hit enter pin. And vector should look like this. You'll have a little V blinking in there. All right, and then you're gonna have the activate button. If you're seeing this error message, error logging in the bot is likely unable to communicate with your WirePod and since make sure you follow all of the steps and try again. If you continue to get this message, then go into your vector and clear the user data, but hopefully you'll be getting a nice big green check mark here. And you do want to keep your vector and the device that you're connecting with uh, close to your Wi-Fi router and just keep trying that activate button and hopefully it will work. If you made it this far in the video, uh, if you drop a like on this video, uh, drop a subscribe, it would really be appreciated for the channel. Um, this is the process for getting your vector all up and running and operational, but as you can see, this is a problem at the end that the WirePod setup is having where the activate button won't go through for some people. So. You do have to just keep trying the activate button, maybe wait five minutes and come back and try it again if it's not working. Uh, but this should eventually go through and your vector will come to life. All right, I've gotten so sick and tired of the activate button not working on my Android phone. What I did was I went to this IP address. It's gonna be different possibly on your WirePod instance running on your Android device, but throw that into uh, another device on the same network and as you can see I have the activate button on my laptop now so I'm going to try it on this other device and we'll see if I got a green check mark oh there we go look at that so for whatever reason it wasn't going through on my Android phone for the activate button but I threw in this IP address and went to the um, WirePod settings page on my laptop and for whatever reason it went right through so uh, I'm just going to save settings and you're gonna put your information in there, obviously, wherever your location is, and boom, vector setup is complete. Big old green check mark, vector came to life. Hey, vector, what time is it? 2.34. And boom, we've got vector working. That's running here on this Android phone, and it's running on my home network, and thank you for watching. I very much appreciate it. Uh, like I said before, if you could drop a like and a subscribe, it's very much appreciated. If you have any questions about the setup process, please ask down in the comments. I try to answer comments as quickly as possible so I could get you and your vector up and running as fast as possible. Thank you for watching.